Virginia often has problems due to severe weather, but it turns out the state also has another issue getting, that no other state has. That's true. Getting federal help comes uh, coming instantly for almost every other state, but the Mountain State has actually been singled out for misspending disaster aid in the past. 13 News Chief Political Reporter Mark Curtis has more. When floodwaters swept through Clendenin, Elkview, and many other communities in 2016, there was an unknown problem with getting federal aid that was just revealed this week. The Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, had put West Virginia on probation for disaster relief back in 2012. The letter was sent to then Director of Homeland Security and Emergency Management, Jimmy Jeanette, who apparently did not forward the letter to the governor's office or legislature. In many cases, federal aid was delayed up to 90 days. It turns out the unknown problem dates back almost a decade. Yes, it's extremely disappointing. Our agencies that direct those uh, funds in the state have been under scrutiny by the federal government since 2009. Jeanette has since been transferred to a Homeland Security advisor for the state. This comes on the heels of the troubled Rise West Virginia Flood Recovery Program that had to be removed from the Commerce Department after millions of dollars in federal aid went undistributed for months. I'm concerned that we're doing all the things we have to do to get back on par with FEMA and the federal government. I mean, we, we have flooding in West Virginia a lot. That That's a disaster that happens in West Virginia with regularity and we have to be sure we're in a position to get people properly cared for when that happens. The legislative auditor continues to investigate and lawmakers are promising to get disaster aid fixed in the mountain state. Since it's come to light we are going to ensure that these monies are um, uh, received correctly, dispersed correctly, and that they are uh, helping people recover from these disasters. West Virginia is the only state in the nation to essentially be put on probation by FEMA for emergency assistance. For now, the Rise West Virginia Flood Recovery Program remains under the jurisdiction of General James Hoyer in the West Virginia National Guard. By most accounts, people say they're doing a great job. Along the Kanawha River in downtown Charleston, Mark Curtis, 13 News, working for you. And until the problem is fixed, West Virginia has to spend its own money on disaster aid and then ask the federal government for reimbursement. This instead of actually getting state money, uh, the state rather getting that money immediately.